Hello, I'm Eric Buckmaster, Executive Member for Wellbeing at East Hearts Council. One of our great initiatives is Healthy Hubs East Hearts, where residents can access and be signposted to support and advice of all kinds to help their physical and mental well-being. This is especially important at a time when there's a cost of living crisis and this can affect how people feel. So East Hearts Healthy Hubs has worked with some of its partners to provide some very practical tips by means of short videos to help residents at this time. So please take a look and remember also that you can phone or email the Healthy Hub team when you need help or you can use the website for resources provided by East Hearts Council and our many partners. My name is Simon and this is Rick and we're from the Healthy Hub East Hearts team. And we've got some great cost of living tips for you that are all centred around the word well. Warmth. The optimal temperature to maintain your home at is 18 to 21 degrees. Aim to maintain a steady temperature as if your home is colder, it's harder to heat and costs more money. Also, if you want to keep warm and you're struggling this winter time to pay your electric or gas, then check out the Warm Spaces page and you can find venues to go along to in your community to keep warm, connect up with friends and other people. Eat well and save money in the process too. Perhaps go to visit your local greengrocers or supermarkets and look to buy wonky vegetables that are just as delicious but much cheaper than normal vegetable packs. Perhaps spend some time in the evenings visiting the fridge sections where discounted meats are often available due to their use-by dates. Eating well will allow us to keep ourselves warm, give us the energy we need and fight off colds and infections. And remember, supermarket medicines are often significantly cheaper than branded medicines despite containing the same ingredients. Look after you. When money is a bit tight, you want to make sure you still give yourself those special treats. So why not invite some friends over, chill out in front of a film, or just connect up and chat, and you will feel much better. Live your life. While many things will naturally use up money, there are a whole host of things that we can do that are just a fall to wait. Perhaps go for a walk, take pictures of nature and with loved ones. Remember those simple pleasures of life the thrill of reading a book or watching a film. And while you're at it, why not go visit one of our local East Arts libraries where you can loan as many as 30 books at a time.